Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're checking out two brand new plugins from Safari Pedals. Safari Pedals is a newcomer to the game with two plugins, and we're checking out those two plugins today. One is a mic preamp slash overdrive, and the other is a retro lo-fi compressor combo kind of thing. So let's not wait any longer, and let's dive into the DAW. Okay, so here we are in our session, and here is Gorilla Drive and Time Machine, the two brand new plugins from Safari Pedals. Like we said earlier, one is a mic preamp slash overdrive pedal, that's Gorilla Drive, if you didn't make that connection already, and Time Machine is it's a few different processes. There's compression, there's filters, and there's just some stuff tape or vinyl style noise. And you'll hear that in a little bit because we'll get into that. But let's do like we always do and go over some of the controls real quick. And if you want to jump forward to the audio examples, use the chapters down below to just skip ahead. For now, here's the controls. Let's start with Gorilla Drive. Not a lot going on in this one. Three rotary controls and two actual stomp pedals. Here's your input, your output, and in the gorilla's mouth is the tone. Obviously, you can make things a bit brighter or you can make them darker. This is similar to other overdrive or tube pushing wink style pedals where it just has the three controls on it underneath that you have a master bypass switch for the plugin itself and a phase or polarity reverse button or switch down here on the right underneath that blend if you want to do some wet dry blends some parallel processing do it right inside the plugin that's awesome and then there's also the auto gain button so if you're driving your input by a lot it'll drop your output that's it up on top quick little preset browser save your own presets or trash a preset and that's it that's gorilla drive let's quickly jump over to Time Machine, Time Machine, very similar kind of thing, only three controls, input, comp, and output. Comp is obviously compression, and there's different kinds of compression because underneath comp is the four toggle switches or buttons, you should say. 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. This gives you a close approximation of the sounds of the equipment and the records that were made during those eras. So you're going to get really filtered start of recording kinds of sounds with the 50s. And as you progress to the newer age, even though it only goes to the 80s, you'll hear those filters open up and there's more frequencies available because the filters aren't doing as much. They're still doing something, especially when you get up to the 80s. There's a little bit of top and bottom roll off, but it's not nearly as drastic as 50s. Then if you're looking for the bypass button, that's on the top left. Auto gain for this one is in the top right, it's right here. And then all the way on bottom, you have your blend control as well, just like we saw on the Gorilla Drive. And we have a noise control. If we turn this way up, you can start to hear some of the noise. And I'm on 80s right now. If we change it over to 50s, you can see it. There's noise. It adds some of that analog style hiss and hum and noise and just a little bit. And then you can kind of blend that however you want. And for both of these plugins, if you go to the bottom right, you can click and drag and resize these two, however big or small you need within your session. That's it. That's all of the controls. Now let's get into the audio examples. This song I actually wrote earlier today using these pedals, getting inspired. And because of Time Machine, knowing I can kind of go back in time, I went for a classic, almost like 60s love surf rock kind of thing. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is actually turn off all of my instances of Time Machine and Gorilla Drive. And the way I have things going here, blue is my drums, I have Time Machine on this because I just pulled in a groove and I wanted to crush it down a little bit and filter it off. So I threw on Time Machine. Then I have my bass, which first is hitting Empire. I needed some kind of amp sounds, DI bass wasn't working for this one. And I threw that into Time Machine as well with a, a newer kind of algorithm. Instead of 50s, I went to 60s. <laughs> and I just dialed some stuff in. Then for my guitars, everything eventually is going into Empire, whether it has the 
the blackface amp on it, or if we switch over here, it has the, what do we call this one? The VC30. On all of my guitars, I do have Gorilla Drive, although on this one with the AC30, or the VC30, excuse me, uh, it didn't use Gorilla Drive. I turned it off, but it was in bypass, so I'm not even gonna turn that one back on. I do have a little lead guitar here, which is pushing just a little bit more. And then for all of my guitars, I put them into a bus and I threw them into Time Machine, giving them some 50s sound, but the blend is way down. I just needed to filter off a little, but still have some of the presence and clarity. So with all of these off, here's the song. And it's it's short, It's I did something real fast. Here we go. Now let's get into the individual elements and how the pedals are affecting the sounds. First, we're gonna start with our drums where I have Time Machine. I have the 50s algorithm set, lots of compression going on, but my blend is dialed back a little. I need a little kind of top end and to preserve my transients just a little. Uh, I'll turn this all the way up as we go into this example so you can hear what I'm talking about. Let's start the drums. After a couple beats, I'll throw it in. Up next, we have our bass guitar. Like I said, this is going straight into Empire first. Here's my settings for Empire. Ignore these pedals on bottom. I'm not using them. It's literally just me going right into the amp. I didn't touch anything. Amp, speakers, good. This is followed by Time Machine, and we're gonna do the same thing. Here's the bass. Again, nothing crazy, a little bit of filtering, a bit of compression going on. I'm not doing too much, and I didn't want to either. Now let's go to our rhythm guitars, and I'm gonna do both of these, because I only have Gorilla Drive going on for the left guitar, which is this one. Let's start with just the left. I have it in bypass, couple measures, we'll drop it in. So that was our left rhythm guitar. Our right rhythm guitar did have Gorilla Drive on it, but it was too much. So here's just the right side, and then I'll throw Gorilla Drive on, but then I'm gonna pull it right back out because it, it didn't work out for this one. So you can hear, it. yes, it was pushing it a little bit more, but it's not what I wanted, especially when I have both guitars going on at the same time. The right guitar is already really bright and kind of present, so it didn't need that extra push, where the left guitar was a bit darker, and I did that on purpose. So I did want to push that into the amp just a little bit harder, which is why I have Gorilla Drive before Empire. Here's our rhythm guitars together. Then 
moving forward a little bit more, I did this little really simple lead guitar, again using Gorilla Drive, just to get a little extra push. I didn't really want distortion. I just wanted to push into the amp a little bit harder, and you could do that with a drive or boost pedal like Gorilla Drive. So here's our lead guitar with Gorilla Drive off, and then we'll drop it in. Again, really simple. And now I did create a guitar bus. And so all of my guitars are going here and I threw Time Machine on. We're in 50s, but the blend is way down. I just wanted some filtering to kind of get rid of some extra stuff, but I didn't want it to completely kill all of the information from my guitars, but I wanted to keep it this 50s, 60s style. Here's all of our guitars. So all of these are not doing a lot, but what they can do can lead to a bunch of different things like writing a song like this. This song came from playing with these pedals. So now that we have everything on, let's do everything clean like we did earlier, and then we'll turn all of our Safari pedal plugins on and you guys can hear a before and after. Here's the before. So there you go, that is Gorilla Drive and Time Machine from Safari Pedals. If you want to pick up these really affordable plugins, use the link down in the description and grab either one or both. And check out the plugins that they're working on. They're working on a reverb and a limiter plugin pedal as well. Those are two different ones, a reverb pedal and a limiter pedal. But they're also going to be plugins. So check those out, they're coming soon, they're working on them right now. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. Want to talk plugins or writing in the style of 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, or a different era? Why not jump into the Discord? There's a link down below. I want to work with you on your next big project. So reach out to me on Discord or head to timflansbaum.com and we can get that started right now. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.